welcome back to Cities XL and welcome back to Waterfront City. Yeah, trees are still loading. And uh, yeah, off camera, I continued a bit here. As you can see, the marina is still under construction. I will build something similar like this here and there as well. Then this area is finished. And beside these, I continued at the sunken freeway network and the monorail network. Woo, that's, that's cool. Apparently I, I accidentally built a slide curve. <laughs> Damn. But yeah, I don't want to rebuild this, of course. Yeah, I think this is okay. And yeah, but what I want to do today is before I continue with the freeway network is I want to connect this circle to this one, especially to the freeway down here in this trench. And yeah, then woo, then I can add some residential zones here in the side of the circle because it's connected to the rest of the city. And yeah, so this will hopefully help in the job situation. A lot of available jobs again. So we need much more residential areas all right so let's continue i i going to build something pretty much similar to this uh fully finished it will look like this later and like over here we we've got the lake at both sides of the elevated road here as well this is the area of the lake later okay so i already prepared the whole area I need to remove uh, parts of this road to continue this so yeah let's remove this and that oh this was too short I want to I want to leave if the this road here in the middle because then it will be much easier for me to uh, to rebuild this whole thing right so now I need a, a hole here as well a little gap inside of the pedestrian pass like this and like that and of course also over here let's quickly eyeball this yeah so from here and from there and from here, uh, a bit larger, and here. All right, so here I need to pass this area with the elevated freeway parts. Yeah, then we will build a bridge, and over here the I'm going to build the uh, uh, roundabout, and another roundabout over there as well. So, um, yeah, let's do the same thing here as well. Uh, I'm not sure if I worked very, very precise. <laughs> so we will probably not intersect. Oh, actually, it looks very good. Looks very good. They are almost perfectly aligned to each other. I was not sure if I did everything right but looks really really good oh yeah this part was too short this way all right so let's expand this this way that way okay good and also the pedestrian pass down there Great. Okay, now this whole area here is prepared for the freeway. Let's remove parts of this. All right, also over here. So um, the next thing I need to do is the next thing. Um, Let's see how much 
room do we have between the the freeway and the roundabout? I want to build something, like I said, similar to this situation. We got like, uh, must be two lots, probably two large lots. Yeah, I think this looks, uh, no, this is too much. Two, two and a half small lots or something like that. Okay, let's me quickly measure this. Ah, uh, where we are? Up here, okay. Um, let's build a straight road. Let's build a straight road. And when we build a straight road, we can already, yeah, we can already use this to modify the terrain because we need uh, pretty much the same level we have over here, but over here as well for the roundabout. Can we quickly do this? This sh should be right. Wait, wait, wait. Yes. So as you can see uh, up here, I, I tried to figure out if we move below the train or if we still above the terrain and then we should be good. This should be the right level. Let's just build the curve. Yes, this part is elevated now. Looks good from here. The rest is perfectly flat, yes. All right. So, um, let's quickly remove this. Oh, wait a second. So from here, from here, let's take the, uh, the terraforming tool terraforming tool and let's try to expand this a bit yes yeah I think we can quickly remove this okay now we have a nice flat plateau okay so and from here we can measure everything we need I think we can remove that because uh, we don't need this road anyway. Later we will have the on and off ramps here. The interchange. Okay, let's build this thing. And like I said, two and a half small lots from here. So like this. Yeah, somewhere over here I'm going to add the roundabout. Probably over here. looks good so um let me quickly take a look at this okay we have yeah this bridge yes 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 yeah let's let's we, we need a road a parallel or in a 90 degree saving, sorry, 90 degree angle to this road, right? So we are not perfectly right at this situation. So what we can do is let's quickly expand this. Yes. So, and from here, from here, I'm going to add this large avenue. Yeah, it's perfectly in a 90 degree angle to the rest. All right, let's remove this and that. And now we need to expand this a bit more, this whole elevated area here. Uh, terraforming tool, of course. Uh, damn it, let's go this way. Ah, damn it. <laughs> Accidentally removed this road. Yeah, this should be wide enough. Yeah, I guess. Also, let's expand this a bit this way. So, okay. Ah, uh, now I need to do everything again. Let's add this. Should be. Yeah, perfect. A bit longer than necessary. And from here, I'm going to build the large avenue. Is it a large avenue over here? 
I am not sure. Lodge Avenue, yes. So, Lodge Avenue, there we go. And we just need to pass these two lots like, yeah, like this. And let's put this a bit longer than necessary. Okay, there it starts to move downwards. Okay, yes. Let's move this. That, and let's expand the avenue a bit this way. All right, so, and now from here, we can start to build the bridge. Something like that. We need to modify the terrain a bit. Yeah, I think this is good. Ah, it's still too high, I guess. We will not be able to build a nice bridge. So let's take the freeway tool. Yes, that's great. Okay, so uh, what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to build or I will take the, the freeway mod bridges like here. I'm going to build the overpass over this freeway. This should ho hopefully work like it did over here. It looks quite good, quite good. So yeah, we need to pay attention to, to yeah, to the direction. Let's just remove this. Um, bridge, elevated two lane, and straight. Yeah. So, <laughs> it doesn't work with the terrain level, so let's modify everything. Or does it work over here? Nah, not enough space. What happened to the terrain? It jumped back to the upper level. Man. So, let's do it again. So, yeah, I do this because I need this bridge to start a bit earlier than it actually does. So that's the reason why I try to lower to the, the terrain a bit. Yes. Okay. Let's do it again. I, I think I'm a, bit, I'm a bit too far away from the... Yeah, now it should be aligned to this. Let's take the, the bridge. There we go. And I think this is actually quite good. Yeah. Ooh. Come on. That's what I want. So, we got the avenue over here. Later we can lower the terrain in front of this bridge. And now we need to build the same thing at the other side um, with a with a different orientation right and this is this is finally not so easy let's remove these houses uh, what I need to do for this let's better let's better build a road a road like this so now we can expand this from here. Let's go. Oh yeah, look at this. It almost perfectly intersects with this road. That's great. So yeah, we can remove this. We can remove that. So now we need, yeah. Now we exactly know where we need to start the road to, to have this bridge perfectly aligned with this small road so let's take the, the freeway tool again and i think yeah that looks good let's go back to the upper terrain level oh perfect let's modify the terrain over here as well again that's it perfect 
and now I'm going to add the elevated freeway. Remember, you need to build this in the same direction like the uh, the traffic will flow later. That's the reason why I've done this. These things I've done. So now we got the connection to this. We can now remove this here. What I'm gonna do now is I'm going to build this at the other side as well before I'm going to add the roundabout interchange and then I can easily connect both sides with each other or should I let me quickly test something yeah I my my, my idea was I want yeah if I built this from the other side as well aligned to this road I could just build a connection here and if there's a little curve or something it would be not that big of a problem but yeah both both uh, roundabouts would be pretty close to together to each or yeah pretty close uh, pretty close together that's what I wanted to say and um, then yeah you will probably notice the curve later so I think yeah it's not that big of a problem if we just expand this that way why not why not or let me quickly check yeah it's a situation like this but both roundabouts would be very close together very close together i'm not sure if this makes sense as you can see so if we yeah, actually it would make more sense if i put the roundabout exactly in the middle between this pedestrian pass and this freeway i would say i would say or let me quickly check this from here Two lots this way. Two lots this way. So the roundabout would be somewhere over here as later. So the other one is right here. So yeah, they would be right next to each other. Makes no sense. Makes no sense. So that means, uh, yeah, I need to move this a bit more this way. And that means I need to rebuild this. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. So, um, okay. Let's quickly figure out the middle between these two circles. For this, I'm going to build a straight road. Like this. And I'm going to take these lots for measuring. Yeah. Let's, I need to level this area. Now, because of this again. But... Yeah, that's perfect. That's the middle between two circles. So this is the area we are where we are going to put the roundabout. Saving, yeah, so that's always good. Let's remove these lots. So, uh, yeah, what I'm gonna do now is I I going to do pretty much the same thing. So for this, let's do some quick terraforming yeah let's remove these bridges i need to ex yeah I, I i need to rebuild them anyway and yeah we can remove this road ah damn it ah damn it yeah it doesn't matter so we we can rebuild this curve it's, it's not a big deal so large avenue Large Avenue from here. So, yeah, it's, it's perfectly aligned to this road. We need to be careful now. We need to be careful now. This road is not parallel to this one. So, yeah, yeah, we need to do the same trick like before. We need to build this here. And the large avenue. Large avenue. Yeah, look at this. It's not perfect. So let's remove this. Can pretty much remove that again. 
let's remove this and that because we still we're still at the middle the middle is still marked uh so let's continue with terraforming at the other side of this yeah please do not remove this thing okay yeah we should be good let's expand this large avenue this way yeah please do not mess up with the terrain level perfect so okay and from here let's do the same thing i will just uh take the freeway tool the best terraforming tool to lower the terrain and then i will be rebuilt these bridges uh, i will do this quickly off camera and when i'm done i will be back jesus okay yeah i quickly rebuilt this and also i also built the other side uh the connection to the circle uh basically yeah exactly with the same technique now i just need to add the roundabout for this i'm going to remove a huge part of this and i will leave a small part over here and then yeah it's a bit too short uh too large or uh, too long yeah, which which roundabout type I used with the textures, with these textures. Uh, so I need to figure out how long this should be. Let's put this a bit shorter. Yeah, this one is the one I used. Yeah, this looks good. So now I just need to build the connections. So from there I can build the connection to uh the freeway now uh which is actually pretty simple i just need uh here this year this one lane freeway yes i think it's one lane right one or two one or two one yes but oh of course i need the 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 connectors yeah the connectors because we're not playing uh city skylines yeah this is really cool uh the the freeway thing in city skylines the the tools road tools are they are really cool really cool really easy to use where i need to put these connectors uh they are right yeah they are under the bridge so let's put the connectors and for this, I unfortunately need to remove another part of the pedestrian pass. All right, and I need to remove a part of the freeway. Let's see. Uh, probably if we go from here and here. Yes. So we need to add a connector right to this part. A highway connector. We need four lane. Four lane. With one exit. This one, right? So that there is a three lane. The right one. Yes. There we got three lanes. Therefore, perfect. So, uh, at the other side, of course, we need a three lane with a on ramp. So, this one. Yeah, and so we just need to build a three lane freeway between these connectors. This way, yes. And a one lane from here to this part would be cool yeah let's build this wait a second let's do it a bit different let's build a small straight part uh 
from this side to this side, of course. A bit closer, just a bit closer. All right. So, uh, so I can put trees and all that stuff. There between. Ah, uh, yeah, the, the curve was just a bit too steep. All right, so that's this. Uh, yeah, we need a, a nice slight slope from up here. So let's use the freeway to create this in, uh, on the train. And now I can take this little guy. Oh, well, that doesn't look nice. <laughs> that doesn't look nice. Um, I think, oh, what happened to my nice freeway thing? Okay, we, we just need to uh, add this with a bit more space and probably let's just build this a bit longer. Um, and should be, it's not straight. I think this will not work again. But yeah, let's work with the with the large avenue. Oh yeah, there we got a bit of space. I I guess a bit too much. No, it's actually quite similar to this one. Great. So uh, and let's just remove this and let's build the connection. Like this, yeah, nice. And the same thing from here. Across this way. Always the way the traffic flows. Yeah, perfect. We got the connection to, uh, to the freeway down there, the on and off ramp. So yeah, that's pretty much it, how it works. The freeway is now connected to, um, uh, the circle is now connected to the freeway. Uh, we can just quickly, it's, this episode is almost over. Let's just hurry. We can connect this to the circle. We don't need this road here anyway. So we got the two lane thing. Oh, of course, we need to continue with the with the bridge tool or we would create. Well, that's interesting. Why we why we get this? Why we get this? Uh, hmm. It sh it should not work like this. Um, that's interesting. I just thought I can expand. Ah, oh, wait a second. I think I took not the right. Do I need to take the? Oh yeah, yeah. It was not the right uh, right tool. Yeah, not the right tool because I need to take the elevated part and then it works. So let's remove that. So, and this, this is going to be a bit tricky from here. Uh, I will just add a road like this because we need to build it this way. So we need uh, to know where this road is going to intersect, intersect with this circle, sorry. Um, and this way we exactly know where this will happen. So we can build this this way. Perfect. So th this circle is also now connected to to this area over here. So we got another connection. Uh, if we hurry up, we can quickly build uh, yeah, this situation like, like over here. This is actually usually, <laughs> actually usually quite easy. How much space do we need? Yeah, something like that. It looks good. Let's just quickly eyeball this. And then 
connection like this. Over here, let's try to get... Yeah, uh, this is a bit too far. Too far away from that, so... Let's remove this and that. And let's boot this first. This way, a little bit too long, too short. Perfect. Let's remove it. Let's remove this. And also here in the middle. Something like this. Yeah, let's leave a small road. Yeah, over here, I'm a bit closer to this. This is a bit too short, so let's work. Ah, I need to remove this. Will not work this way. Uh, the main, the the most important thing is that we we need to try to not such an intersection like this. We need a small road part, or oh, this can cause some yeah some trouble. So we have to close. Yeah, let's put this just straight. Okay, so and let's connect the pedestrian pass to this. Oh, this angle is too steep, unfortunately. Mm. Yeah, let's ah, try to remove a small part. This is going to be not easy to build. Can we do something like that? Yeah, this is really close. Hmm. Really close. Doesn't look not... Does not look so precisely. Yeah, here we are, again, very far away. Ooh. Damn it. Come on. Straight. Flat. Nice and easy. Yeah. So... Well, yeah, this is kind of a very extreme angle over here. Probably not so good. Um, yeah, uh, I think I, I'm going to refine this off camera. Uh, basically, uh, this is finished now. I can also add other stuff. I can uh, uh, take, I can lower the train over here. And then I can build the, the pedestrian pass over here along this so that we got a nice wall and later this water like over over here the other side is not so nice this side looks really nice really cool and yeah for this just takes a bit of work and then i can add uh residential buildings here in the next episode so we can bring in more people for yeah new new workers to yeah, to fulfill the job demand over here. That's really nice. And also change my mind about this pedestrian pass. I think I'm going to add a a avenue around the circle because the situation is like we, we, we've got a pedestrian pass around this circle, for example, but this circle is outside of the main shape. The main shape goes like this and everything inside of this main shape got a road around the elevated circle part. So that's the reason why I'm going to work with an avenue over here. I think this is a good idea. So yeah, that's basically it. We can just, just add quickly. So we, we are completely finished with this area. Um, the large avenue from here to down to this area. Let's build a simple intersection. And that's it, pretty much. It's a very interesting view. From here, for example. Yes, so with the skyline in the background, very nice. Thank you very much for watching. And, whoa, and goodbye.